Let's go. Coming to you live from Music City, USA, it's the Nashville Casting Couch. I'm Chris Burks, along with your locally famous host, TJ Cates, who is in the invitation-only studio high atop the city overlooking everything that is Nashville Entertainment. Now lay back and enjoy the ride that we call the Nashville Casting Couch. Quiet on set and action. Hey, this is TJ Cates with another episode of the Nashville Casting Couch with Mikey Fisher. Yay! The very well-dressed Mikey Fisher. Thank you. I, you know I, what? You may actually be the best-dressed guest that we've had on our show. I actually so took a uh, uh, note out of your book, TJ, with this outfit. I like right. little yeah. blazers. Absolutely. This is called, what do they call that? Pocket Square. Okay. I was at Harris Teeter one day, and I was dressed kind of nice, and this guy gave me one. Yeah. And I said, man, where'd you get that? I need to get them. And he said, oh, I got one. He pulled out, had like a whole cardboard. Yeah, the so, cardboard. This yeah. is actually the and real thing right here, though. And he gave it to me, and I didn't know the guy. Yeah, I got the real thing right here, though. This is, I have some with the cardboard, though. Yeah, I like the shiny blazer, though. Well, thank you. It looks good. It looks cool with the, I went back to Mississippi, where I come from, Memphis, Mississippi, and we shot some, it's city of Memphis and state of Mississippi. I get them confused sometimes. But I went back with the blue jeans and the blazer and the button-up thing, yeah. and what kind of shoes you got on? Yeah, see, it looks good. Oh yeah, with the socks. And I got looked at because, but up here it's everybody dresses. Yeah. But when you go back there, it's ball caps and Ole Miss. Well, I don't really care to either one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm a national. Yeah. I'm Enough about me, man. Let's talk about you. Yeah, man. Uh, You're thinking a little much. Uh oh. Let's get you. All oh. right. Thank you. Everybody's watching. Oh, ah, yeah. 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 Well, uh, uh, been acting for about five years. I've been busy over my five years. I, 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 I will, I will say that I've had a. Good amount of success, man. Uh, uh, luckily, I've had people like uh, Steve Alberts. Steve you know, Alberts. I've been working with Steve, Steve Alberts. Yes. Thank you. That's actually he's a class I, favorite. Absolutely, he's my he's one of my favorites. Uh -huh. uh, he, uh, we were on a Nexium shoot on, on a commercial, and uh, he told me about uh, Johnny Dynamo. He was doing work with Johnny Dynamo. Yeah. And so I sent uh, sent in an email and, and my materials and stuff like that, and. Uh, before you know it, I was on season two. That's playing crazy, Little Mo. Man. Yeah, I was playing. Uh, t I'm playing Tiny Lister's son. Uh, really? Yeah, Debo from Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played son. I remember that guy. He's been around forever. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, done, he's done a lot. He's done a lot of stuff. But uh, Friday, that's one of my favorite shows. He's yeah. like following around and looking all mean. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. He had just broken <laughs> out of jail and was hiding in the in the dog catcher truck. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, same yeah, guy. It was yeah, funny. Yeah. I like that. Same one. Yeah. I come from Memphis. That was like our theme song. Yeah. yeah. It's good. And he's okay. a he's he's a lot like that. He's it, it was intimidating at first to work with him. He seems like but, he would um, actually be nice. He's 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 nice, but he, he might like, watch it. Be careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's nice, but it it, it brings out uh, it, it intimidates you a little bit. Yeah. But because he's done so much work, he's done uh -huh. so much work, and because he's who he is, you know. Yeah. And so that that brings your it brings your a game out in your acting though. You want it does, you want to keep up man. With him. Yeah, yeah. When you're around better people. Absolutely. Yeah, my people that work with me, Jeff, Jill, Meredith, all my people, and Matt. Where's Matt? Yeah. It makes me work better because I try to. I never take a break, but when I do, I'll see them all working. It's like I gotta get back up. Yeah, y'all so I mean, always I, working. And you I, gotta bring like, it. Like I said, y'all, I, I watch y'all all the time. And that, I, I, I said you gotta you be guys, so bored if you watch it. You, you guys, y'all put in work, and that's yeah. what I like. I think the key to success is consistency. Yeah, you know, you keep on putting stuff out. We're all so keep, excited. About you keep everything. networking. You keep. You keep uh, putting out work, you keep creating, and this, I mean, I mean success is going to come. I mean, yeah, well, there's no choice. But you got to make it come. You got to do it. That's right. You and if you slow it. down, somebody else will right. That's Just right. Like somebody else didn't slow I down. I see one thing I hate. I, I won't say hate. I dislike. One no, thing that's okay. I hate. You can say okay. it. Hate. One thing I hate. When I see these big actors, and they, they, they're on a show for like eight years, say so they get a series. Yeah. And then uh, you, you don't see them anymore. Then you sit in an interview, and they're like, well, I, I was on the series, and I decided to take a break. For what? Why are you taking a break? You've been working. You worked all half your life. And then they come back, and it's too late. Try to get to that level. Yeah. You get to the highest level, and then you want to take a break. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. No. There's a couple of country singers around town that I've heard them say that, and they regret the. I can't share their names because yeah. they're kind of cool. Yeah. But they said I took a break. I was on top of my game. More money than I could yeah. ever spend. My yeah. generations to follow could never spend it, and now nobody knows who I am. I don't get it. Man. I don't get it. It's I'll, tough. I'll, I'll, I won't take a break. I'll, don't take a break. Why take a break? I'll take a break. I don't know, man. I want to go get a farm one day. I want to get a tractor. And I want to do stuff, but I still want to work. Yeah. And my stuff, we just might accidentally be in my house 
not in a big, a big studio, but it's good, you yeah, know? Yeah. I got to work this morning, I got up early and worked, and I'll work tonight, and, and we'll all work together. And yeah, man, work. Good for you, man. I like it, man. That's, I like it. I so, like that. what do you want to do? Where are you taking this to? Um, Five years is not that long for everything you accomplished. It's, I mean, it's not, and I'm, I've, been, I've been blessed, and I've been lucky, you know, to run into a lot of great people, have a lot of great, uh, great jobs, and a great agent. Uh, Who's your agent? Talent Trek. Oh, they're excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they get me out a lot. And then, like I said, I, I, I do a lot of work, too. I, I, I'm always looking. I'm always searching. I'm always networking, you know, and auditioning and trying to, you know, just trying to mm -hmm. trying to keep them consistent, you know, yeah. and that, that's, that's the key to success to me. Um, but uh, like like now, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing a web series now called The Rules of Messing Around, okay. uh, written, written and directed by Willie Robbins. Uh, I'm about to go in and do the data room with uh, Do Media Lighthouse. Uh, I'm about to go in and finish up uh, Mr. Frost. Five, we got five episodes of Mr. Frost to finish. I heard about with, that. Uh, with I heard about that project. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, just keep them busy, man. That's good though. Yeah. And people always want to go look for somebody that's keeping busy. They don't want to see the faces. They don't recognize. And it doesn't matter how they remember you. It's like, oh, I kind of know that guy. Yeah, I know. But that guy you, you look like a star though, man. The way you carry yourself and Thank you're you. looking at in your build, you're yeah, we're not built the same. You have a good build when you walk in. I appreciate it. Yeah, it makes a difference. You know, you already look like a star. They're going to, oh, okay, well, this is the guy that we need. Well, thank you. So thank you. Thank that's you. good. So where, where are you going to be five more years? Um, uh, you're not going to be on break, I don't think. No, no, sir. I will not definitely not be on break. Uh, I want to I wanna be in, a, in, a, in a, on an actual television show. You know, I, I've done Nashville uh, also. done Nashville, and I, 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 I just like being on a television series, mm. you know. A lot of people say they want to be, in, uh, you know, the end goal is film, you know. But I, I think television for me would, would, do it, would do it for me. Like a character, a recurring character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I mean, coming into your living room every week, you know. And that's why yeah. I like the web series because, uh, you know, it's a character that I, can, that I can work with and actually, you know, get into. You know, I think I can get into Did the Did you know that the L.A. Film Festival, just starting, it's not this year but next year, there it might be, and I know National Film Festival is also going to add it, they're going to start having awards for yeah, web series. Web series yeah. That's a big deal, you know, because it's all internet and everybody's tired of fan com guys. You don't always go to the to the movies, yeah. but you know, there's so many channels, there's thousands of channels. It's kind of and that's where I mean, that's where the you the, get exactly what you want. With the web yeah, series. that's where the big TV networks are looking now. I was, I was reading just last night about uh, BET. They were uh, I'll just read BET one time. They're looking for they're, it was they're, a comedy. I was off. Really. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt your story, but it's the no, last day, so we're going to go to me for a minute. Come on with it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> I, I went to BET and I auditioned for two different roles. One was a serious drama where they needed like a really crooked cop, and the other was like a goofy security card. And I had trouble because I, I had to pick one. Because mm -hmm. I'd like to get so into the role. I, I studied yeah. the Meisner method with my acting teacher years ago, and I got so into it, and it's like I have to pick one. Yeah. I didn't get either one. Yeah. But I couldn't get into the comedy after I was so into my You find comedy, comedy like harder? It. Yeah. You want me to? Yeah. And, and and I'm really good at playing dark. I like dark characters. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, so. I have a I have a movie. To, uh, you can, you can play both though. I have a movie. You, you can turn yeah. on somebody. It's, well, I mean, I, I play I played the villain to this movie called Soul. Uh, I play a, a a rapist and a murderer. And, and you're neither. Yeah. And I, yeah. Good. So yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I you know I, that's a dark character. That's, that's probably the darkest character I've played in my uh, career so far. So. But you look like somebody that would walk in and say, oh, that guy's really nice. He's running a bank. Yeah. And he's like messing some stuff up yeah, and nobody yeah, knows. Yeah, and yeah, you yeah, go yeah. out and say, hey, fix me charge a charter seven. Well, so, yeah. well, see, that's good. I, I can yeah, play. wiping off your hands. And, uh, <laughs> I, can play, I can play both ends. That's good. But that's good. That's why you're getting cast so much. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, absolutely. congratulations on that. I appreciate it. Man. Come back and see us next time you have something going on. Absolutely, I will. I Third will. Saturday every month, just walk on in, open door policy. Just yeah, I'll just sit right down, pop in, and we'll start talking. All right, man. Good talk to you. Thank you very much. So they drop the charges? Nope. I'm getting bailed out. I'm gonna pay you back. All right, I'm going to play a song called Way Past Gone uh, that I wrote pretty recently. So this is some new music for you. Oh, 
TJ Cates again with the National Casting Couch, Melanie Marini. We're going to act like you're going to play a song after this, but maybe we'll let everybody know that you just sang for us. Okay. That was so good. You don't sound like you look, and I know you said that people say that you don't sound like they think you would, but you actually, I didn't expect that voice. Kind of soulful. Yeah, I, I have, I feel like, a lower voice than than a lot of people here, which is funny because I grew up like in church singing soprano and like arias and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's like nothing like I sing now, but. And you um, grew up in Detroit, Michigan? <laughs> Pittsburgh. Why are you laughing? Oh, oh, we got <laughs> wrong. That's why I never say stuff I'm not sure and you just tell me a minute ago. Pittsburgh. Yeah. We have some uh, musicians, Amy Jane Wheeler Band. They have, they're in Pittsburgh. You ever heard of them? Just I have. Yes. yes. They're really good. <laughs> they sing our, our theme song that goes to our, our intro on our shows. They've been doing it for the past year. Nice. She gave me her CD and we met and they're, they're from Pittsburgh. And uh, Kevin B. Klein, do you know him? Yes, I do. You know everybody. He is also from, I believe he's from Pittsburgh. And he's going to be at our music day tomorrow. He kind of, it's like an 80s rocker sound. Nice. There's yeah. a lot of Pittsburgh people down here, I've found. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. It's kind so of a small town. Are you here for good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Foreseeable future. <laughs> But you moved down here for music. Yeah, um, I moved down here after I graduated high school. So yeah. I went to Belmont for a couple of Stephanie years. Stephanie Ellington. I know. I was, shout out to the fellow of Belmont. Belmont. <laughs> did you Did you know her when you saw her? I didn't. I didn't take any classes. So I don't think. No, we Man, I tell you what, you can take her class, but sometimes she doesn't keep her students because she's pretty like much. I mean, she wants them to be the best they can ever be. It's not an easy class to take, but if you want to do a music career, that's what you want. You want to play hard. Yeah, well, I, I was listening to her interview earlier, and I was like, yeah, oh, maybe I should talk to her. You should come tomorrow and hear her sing, oh my God, it's yeah. really good. Awesome. Enough about Stephanie, let's talk about you. 
Okay. Now, your kind of music that you sing, what, what is it classified as? I would say it's country pop. Um, I've kind of, I have an EP out, which was out in 2012, but yeah. I feel like since then my sound's gotten a little it's different. Yeah. yeah, so I'm still kind of, I feel like, finding what I want my sound How to be. How old are you now? 23. So you're younger, 20. Oh, you should have. So your voice has changed. A little bit, yeah. Kind of so, I've, I mean, as I go along and I write new things and kind of figure out who, how I want to portray myself, it changes a little bit, but... Where do you, as far as a songwriter, where do you get most of your inspiration from? Like um, bad breakups, happy times, <laughs> good fishing days? I mean, it's always easy to write a good breakup song. Um, <laughs> Hold on, that's I feel funny. like it's hard I'm to write. I'm going to sit here and laugh for a second, because that's one of the funniest things anybody's ever said. Really? Yeah. I feel like it's true, though. It, it's so hard to write, at least for me, to write like happy songs, because when I'm happy, I'm not like in my room with my guitar, like... <laughs> Late at night. So at night, oh, you just know, start writing so down. Happy. You start writing down the bad things that happen, and that's easy. It's easy to write those. That's funny that <laughs> well, you said that because it's kind of true. It's easy when it's well. I don't want to say like happy or sad. It when you have something that you're really passionate about or that you feel very strongly about, it's kind of like stream of consciousness. Kind of then can be narrowed down into lyrics. But mm -hmm. like, I don't know. <laughs> I guess you don't rant so often about. Yeah, no, we don't write about the good times as much as we do the other. Yeah. Okay, when you write, because I'm not a writer, but when you write, do you write down just a little bit and it comes to you slowly, or are you one of those? I've seen writers, I'm going to go write a song tomorrow. It's like, how do you know? Um, a lot of my co-writes, um, I have to schedule. So I like writing oh, that's with, different. Yeah, I like writing with people around town because it gives you kind of a sounding board and you you know, you know, can bounce things off and it, it's, it spins into a new direction. So I kind of like that. But... um. As far as like writing on my own, like usually I'll just write when I'm inspired. Um, so I mean, usually it's like either in my car or like in the shower or something. <laughs> I sing in the shower. Yeah. But I lock the doors so nobody I do can hear. Do you really? <laughs> I don't think everybody does. Yeah. Some people are better at it than others. Some people just don't. Right know there. It. She didn't see it. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, so you talked about church. So you do you sing in church at a young age? Yeah, when I was younger, um, I was in the church choir, and then I took voice lessons from my uh, the the church choir leader. And choir director. Choir director. I spent a lot of time That's in the word. I was like, <laughs> I knew something that somebody else didn't know. I feel really smart right now. Good job. Ask me another church question. <laughs> another. Uh, no, 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 no. Really. Let's see if I can. But. Okay. So you're choir director. Yeah. Oh. So he. Um, he realized that you were pretty good. He coached me from when I was in third grade until about high school. Um, and then I, I kind of, you know, I, I picked up guitar in middle school, so I started kind of going on that path. And mm -hmm. um, I mean, I I don't, I feel kind of homeless. I don't really have a church down here. <laughs> but, Go uh, Cross Point. We love Cross Point. Yeah, I've been like a couple times with some friends. That's yeah, good. It seems You'll like find a, one that you like. A good community. It's just like I, shopping at the mall. Churches, I went to a million <laughs> churches, and you find one that you like. Go church shopping on Sunday. Yeah, you can go church shopping. The yeah. good thing about it now, on another side, you can get on the internet and church shop, because they all put their sermon. What are you looking at, Jeff? I go to church. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> he's, a, he's a choir director at his church. Nice. Yeah, but you can go online and you can watch. There's so many good churches in Nashville. Plus, the music is incredible. Well, that's what, that's what I'm looking for. You can audition to be to be a singer at Cross Point. I have some friends that do that. Oh yeah. It's a good you never know you're gonna be discovered at church sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you are you playing around town anywhere? Yeah. I play um I play a lot in Midtown. Um like I play at the Rio, I play at uh Winners and The Rose is a good venue. Yeah, it is really good and it's nice because it's you get kind of a mix of tourists and and local people who come in there, so do you know the girls Lockwood Bar and Pearl Clarkin? I love them both. I do too. <laughs> Pearl Clarkin, Lockwood Bar, two of my very favorite artists here in town. Pearl, they're actually both going to sing at my music venue tomorrow. you got to pop in nice. at Belcourt Taps. We do a monthly uh, music showcase called Sunday Fun Day Music Showcase from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We're going to do a ya ya Yahoo, Yoohoo, YouTube. YouTube, one stream. of those. <laughs> <laughs> a live stream. So everybody, all you're out of town, people can watch you singing on stage. We're going to start doing that. But Pearl and uh, Lockwood's playing around five, I think she's got somewhere to be. And then Pearl is getting off stage at six. She's going to come play at six thirty or seven. All right. Stephanie's going to sing tomorrow. Jeff's going to play guitar. Ian, are you playing tomorrow? Madrid. 
I will agree. I get y'all confused. You both have good hair. You have good chin hair. Maria has <laughs> good hair. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. So, for you to go on, just pop in sometime. Yeah. It's fine. It's a real good crowd. But, okay, so you don't play that on Broadway. You play more Midtown where you get to play your own music, your rap, your own yeah. original. Yeah. Um, no, I, I mean, I haven't really gotten into the rotation. I've talked about it a few times. My thing is, like he was saying earlier, it's like, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to keep the voice going for four hours, so I haven't tried that necessarily yet. And uh, well, Be careful. Yeah, no, I mean, I, it'd be, I mean, I hear it's really good money. I have a lot of good friends who play down there, and. And they're awesome artists and stuff like but that. But the row is a really cool place. I like that venue. And where it's kind of out on the patio, but it still has good sound. Yeah, especially during the summer. Yeah, the summer's so much better. Oh, it's just so much better. <laughs> Soul Shine is fun whenever they open the patio and you're playing upstairs. That's my favorite. And they got the giant fan there. It's yeah, like, it's pretty big. Yeah. It's a big fan. It's pretty awesome. That's where I met Pearl Parkin at. They okay. had the cast of Nashville. All the singers there, they're playing free one night. And I met Pearl. Somebody introduced us and we became friends. Right, yeah. Super cool. She's she cute. works so hard. Do you work as oh, hard as Pearl? Uh, I don't think anyone works Dang, as hard Pearl as Pearl. Pearl Parkin works all the time. I hope Pearl's watching. <laughs> she's watching. No, she's awesome. I love Pearl. I love Lockwood. Like, they they both. I like Lockwood with her banjo and her voice. She, Lockwood Barr's so voice unique. is very different. Yeah, it's it's really cool. We yeah. uh, So much good young talent in town. It's great. And it's like a little community because we all kind of mm -hmm. learn from each other and and, you know. You know? <laughs> They're sweet it's girls. Helpful. They're good little wholesome sweet girls to hang out with. Good for you. Okay. You found some good people. Where can people find your music, I wonder? I have a website, so that has basically all the links to where it is everywhere. Um, right now, I've got my EP and my single, um, If I Know You, up on iTunes. And um, that's the song that I was working with Vicky on. Vicky Photos Jacobs. Yeah. From um, Big Gap Music, LLC, yeah. one of our sponsors. And okay. you know what? Even if she wasn't a sponsor, she's still one of my best friends in town. She's she's a really when she lady. says she can do something, she does it. I, and she's not I'm trying to get some money. <laughs> I mean, she's not trying to get somebody's money. She's not oh, trying. No. To, yeah. No, she's a, she's very genuine, and I mean, I haven't known her for that long, but from all my interactions with her. We did a casino commercial together about five years ago, and I met the most amazing people down in Mississippi mm -hmm. for Beau Rouge Casino, and Vicky was one of them, and we've been friends forever. And I finally got here, and about a year ago, we kind of hooked up and realized that our work ethic w was similar. We don't, we try to take care of everybody, and we almost go overboard trying to really take care of everybody and promote everybody, but she's found a way to really help songwriters get their music and get it pitched to the big names when everybody else won't even return your email. They laugh at you. So they Oh, yeah. Plus, she gets a little bit of clout the way she carries herself. She's a little intimidating. She is, but you when, know. I've seen, you, you'll see a side of her. She ever has to take up for you yeah. and go to bat for you against a big label. She doesn't care about <laughs> She's awesome. Well, it, no, she's worked so hard because she built this company that she has it from the ground and mm -hmm. she's she's working it. <laughs> so, uh, no, she's she's awesome. I love her. All right. So, around town, people can find you in Midtown at the Row, Winners, Losers. Yeah, Row, Winners, winners. and Losers. Or, well, I haven't played at Losers yet, but that would yeah. be cool. It's a different crowd. It's a different... Um, it's Losers more of a local crowd. And um, yeah. I feel like the difference from playing like downtown, you get a lot of... I, I feel like there's more fan potential there. Um, and then... Were you, what is this word? Fan? Like fan potential. Oh, you can get more people to follow. Yeah. Because they go back to Minnesota Because I feel something. like in Midtown, it, you're playing for a lot of musicians, which is awesome for, you know, tricky, ma meeting man. musicians and making connections tricky. there. But it's like a, a different direct, direct, you know. There's a girl named Becky McLeod. Okay. Do you know her? She sings with uh, Haggard Halo. They play on Tuesday nights at um, Winners. Okay. And she also sings on Thursday night at Legends. She does a lot of covers, a lot of Miranda Lambert. She's a little big, got a lot of energy. But, I mean, she fights that battle. And I've interviewed her a couple times. Nice. And she's like, I can make money down here. And I get a lot more fan base. And then on Tuesday night, you know, sometimes you go by there and it's like 10 people. Yeah. But then again, if, they, if there's labels and people are looking for somebody and they really are needing somebody, they're going to pop in. Yeah. Winners. And they're going to... And sometimes it's going. nice to play for smaller rooms because you kind of connect more with, with your song and the audience. So. But the row stays pretty busy. Yeah. It's been pretty busy the past few times I've been there. So. What nights do you, do you have like a stand or a standing thing or I a showcase that you always I don't have a standing night. Um, I usually... Well, last year, like... October through December, I guess I was playing pretty much every week or twice yeah. a week. But um, I had a, a throat cold earlier this year, so uh, I haven't been playing out a ton. We've been recording a lot and trying mm -hmm. to get some new demos out there. 
Um, good for you. Yeah, so it's been a good time. It's been a good year so far. It's been a good show, so thanks for coming on it. Well, thank you for having me. We're going to put your links on the board. Jill Simonez is going to promote you. Meredith has got you on the casting couch with Vicki Potus. And Jeff's going to wake up and hit the off button. So thanks for coming on the casting couch. Okay, now we're backstage, green room, tin roof, down to Mundrian, and um, we're here for Nashville Connection, and we have Big Gap Music. Vicki is in the house. What are you doing, scouting out? You know, I have to say I might be. I, I try not to give all my secrets. She walks in with hugs like she's everybody's best friend, and then she's listening the whole time. Yeah, I am. Actually, you know, TJ, I, I've planned this year to get out a little bit more and to you know see what's happening and see who's writing and see where these people are coming from i have a a network of young artists uh, all the way up to very well established artists so i'm super excited about seeing what's happening tonight well, let's go through and let's do it, let's do it. all right Ooh, la, 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 la. let's go He ain't got your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't no way better. Cause you're the baddest country boy, sweet as sin. He ain't got my soft lips on him every morning, and